As a multidisciplinary artist, I am known to some as a sculptor, others as a painter or designer. Drawing is the foundation of my process, and is apparent in my work on paper through playful assemblages of forged and welded steel. Working in both my studio and shop, I take advantage of skills which are paired with a comfort and knowledge of working with an extensive palette of methods and materials. This enables me to freely articulate my ideas and expressions in two and three dimensional bodies of work. Steel drawing. By forging and shaping steel rods by hand, bending jigs and feet, lines are formed to compose the gesture. Most pieces begin by sketches in wire mounted on wood blocks. While some remain as maquettes, others are translated into larger works. Planes and lines. Observing at infinite approaches and lighting situations, planes and lines become undefined. Pieces for outdoor spaces are painted steel. Indoor works are either painted or treated with unique patinas. Enzo sculptures explore the traditional creation of the mark in an entirely different medium. Like ink and brush, fluid and often whimsical strokes and elements capture expression, fluidity, and movement. While the act of making the mark has a spiritual context, I learned it is also very light-hearted and full of humor. This is expressed in both the use of objects and sayings hammered into surfaces, spherescapes. I compose found and fabricated objects and thematically create a reaction with a single or various spherical element. While some elements create a visual tension defying gravity, the overall composition makes sense. I build and then subtract only the necessary elements to leave room for the viewer to finish the story. Tide Pool Compositions My drawing studies and observations are recorded by the shores of New England's rocky coastline and then further developed in my studio. Lost in the depth of an ever-changing environment, drawing and explorations and abstraction led me to visualize the expanse of this natural world. Unbound series. Mixed media assemblages from deconstructed case-bound books all destined for recycling. My process begins with a separation of book parts in a non-methodical way. By chance and discovery, through tearing, peeling, and cutting, a palette of textures, colors, and forms are generated. Assemblages vary from collages to installations. Bookboard Boogie Woogie. Color, like music, is often described with words such as rhythm, harmony, and melody. They both allow the artist, musician, limitless combinations, vibrations, contrasts, contradictions, and patterns. The boogie-woogie genre of music developed initially in the South as a form of the blues. However, it became most popular in the 1920s. In its original form, it was the piano, played with a steady rhythmic and percussive style using the left hand. Then, combined with a series of riffs of improvised melodic variations, the right hand experimented freely. My bookboard installations begin with the deconstruction of case-bound books all destined for recycling. I then reassemble the linen and or paper wrap covered materials to form individual panels. Then the music begins. Color theory, pattern, harmonies, and contradictions are assembled in a free and improvisational manner. Color associations may draw the viewer into an area of the piece, perhaps triggering memories, emotions, or simply personal taste. Then, an unlikely surprise may dazzle the eye. Overall, I encourage engagement. An audience of individual interpretations, a concert of color, composition, and scale.